you may have your project completed you have all of your sprites done you have all of your code and everything is working fine and then you used to think mm, i would like to publish my game in google play store so today i'm going to be showing you how you can publish your game in google play store I publish a game in the Google Play Store by following the steps I will be showing you in this video. Actually, you can check that this game exists. It's called Swipe Never Stop. You have the link in the description below. Now, let's start. The first thing you have to do is to create an account in Google Play Console. You will be asked for some data. To do this, you're going to look for Google Play Console. You're going to enter the first link. Once you're here, um, you're going to click where it says Go to Play Console. I already have my account created. Uh, it's quite simple to create one. The only bad thing is that you have to pay $25 in order to create it but you only have to pay once and you will be able to publish as many games as you want so the first step is to create your google play console account then you're just going to select it now you are in your google play console account here in all apps section obviously you should have nothing i have my game published swipe never stop but uh, here you shouldn't have anything to start creating your app you will click here where it says create app and obviously you have to create um, your new app for example uh, let's create a new app uh, called subscribe uh, you're going to select the default language english it's okay uh, is it either an app or a game let's put uh, that it's a game it's free or it's paid uh, it's free in this case and you have here uh, some things that you have to uh, accept accept and then you can create your app now you have obviously other uh, other steps uh, to follow start testing now set up your app release your app and uh, well you have for example here the play game services you can from here uh, select your testers in order to uh, test your game obviously uh, this is optional you have to uh, to do it then here where it says set up your app uh, let us know about the content of your app and manage how it is organized and presented on google play uh, you have to set privacy policy app access and a lot of other things the privacy policy uh, it's quite confusing when uh, you are uh, starting to publish an app if you don't know how to create a privacy policy correctly uh, you can use some of this website for example here free privacy policy uh, generator uh, and from here you can create a new policy there is a bunch of websites you can use so you can just navigate around this this is the one that I think I use privacy policy generator dot info uh, you have to enter your company name let's say for example Leta Corpo Corporation then you put your website or uh, your game name in my case for example swipe never stop then you have to select if you use cookies well this is all the process that you have to generate your own privacy policy then uh, app access here you select uh, if you need some kind of login credential membership locations or other forms or, or of authentication uh, provide instructions on how to access them make sure this information well here you have to select it depends on obviously what uh, is your game about um uh, here i select it. all functionality is available without special access then you just save you go back then we have ads okay does your app contain ad yes my app contains ad no my app doesn't contain ads so no my app doesn't contain ads in my case 
content rating complete the content rating questionnaire to receive official content ratings for your app ratings are displayed on google play to help users identify whether your app is suitable for them so let's start this uh, questionnaire you have to provide an email address a category for your game okay and here we have a lot of questions about uh, does the game contain interference or well, lots of things no fear no 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 uh, no any reference and uh, no and well obviously you have here to select uh, what is um what is suitable f uh, about your game it will really depend on uh, your type of game because for example if you made a game like i don't know uh, about zombies and you have to kill zombies obviously you will have blood and violence but if you are making a casual game uh, you, you probably won't have violence or blood and then you have a summary then you have target audience you can select here um the target age groups of your app and uh, you must add a privacy policy if you target audience includes children under 13 um so here you select could you store listing unintentionally appeal to children you can select yes or no if yes the not design for channel level may be shown next to your app on google play or if you select no if google play disagrees with your answer you won't be able to update your app uh, i put here yes and again you have a summary news apps is your app a news app you select as well covid 19 contact tracing as status app um my app is not publicable contact tracing or status app if it's not related to uh, the pandemic covid and that things then you have data safety um you have a well, lot of information here <laughs> i didn't read does your app collect or share any of the regard or any of the required user data tabs no in my case um and then you have to put um to provide a link to your privacy to your privacy policy on the privacy public uh, page because i didn't put the link but i'm going to do it uh, right now then you will select your app category i i just i skipped a last section about um i don't remember what it was about it was about data safety because in most of these questions if it is a simple game you are going to select no in just every question so to just make the video quickly you select here if it is an app or a game the category of your game i really like making casual games so maybe you should do this you can put a uh, tax for uh, your game i didn't do that uh, and you have to provide an email address a phone number a website um and well and obviously uh, you can uh, external marketing your app well now you select your app name a short description and a full description of uh, your app or game you also put uh, an icon here um you put a feature graphic if you have a trailer you put it here uh, you can uh, put here some phone screenshots which is uh, really nice and you can also put a uh, for tablets okay but uh, maybe you don't uh, you don't have to put tablet screenshots just uh, by putting phone screenshots it's okay the next section is that you have to release your app first uh, you should select countries and regions then you select a tester if you have one and you create a new release and then you review and roll out the release this is the most the the, the easiest part of uh, releasing your game after doing this you will see a button that will say publish your game or something like that i don't remember and obviously you will be able to publish your game it's really easy uh, the most difficult part is to create your Google Play console account because you have to pay, you have to enter some credit card, um, 
some credit card data and all that but then publishing your game is quite simple when you finally send your game or your app to revision it will take like three or four days mine took four days and then they will tell you if the app is on google play or if it's not published on google play and then here in your all apps section you will have here uh, the install audience as you can see i have only 21 uh, you have your app status that i think if you haven't published your game it will say it will say like uh, in revision or something like that and then if you enter here uh, you will be able to see um some um your dash your dashboard about your game uh, you can see for example the ratings you can see the users acquired uh you can see for example your traffic source uh, sources your top countries um also you can see the download size of your app uh, and well you can see here a lot of things and here we have a button to view uh, your game on google play and yes that's simple this is the best way to publish uh, your game on google play store as i said before it's a really really easy um thing to do and you shouldn't have much problem this is all for today's video, I hope it was useful to you, and see you on the next one, bye bye.